So this is the sterilization room. This is our third video of this little like series, what's in my app. I'll show you. This is kind of, we're lucky to have a very large, I, I feel this is pretty large and spacious. We have a whole side, this is like the dirty side, and then this side is kind of like the clean side. You'll see what I mean in a second. So obviously it's not my op. You should still wear proper PPE. You should be wearing your long sleeves, your mask, your everything, your hair should be up. So over here, we have our cavi wipes. You know, you need cavi wipes everywhere you go. I forgot to show those in my room. Well, they're in my room too. They're in my little cubby that I didn't show up. We have our sharps container. We have our emergency section here, our emergency equipment. We have hand sanitizer. Every time before you leave or enter, we hand sanitize. We have our like medical waste, you know, anything that might be a little like, you know, bloody, we put in there. And then our normal garbage here. I just, it's very nice. Like, we have our ultrasonic. A lot of people ask me about ultrasonic. If you're a hygienist, you already know, but if you're not a hygienist or if you're not a dental person, the ultrasonic does not sterilize at all. It's actually probably the dirtiest part. It's just to put, you put your instruments in the basket. This is filled up with water. You put it in there, you close it and it goes, shoo, 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 you know, like that. The instruments get like any particles that are on there, it helps get them off. It like agitates them off. You know what I mean? So you don't have like gross. It's supposed to be better than taking a toothbrush and making that all go everywhere. It goes in there, it's covered. It's like a nicer way to get the crud off. We have some of these like guys to put like burrs and stuff in. Again, a hygienist probably doesn't care. You might put your tips in here, depending on what the manufacturer said. You can put your tip, um, your ultrasonic tip in there. So again, it's more for assisting. You know, we do some, we do implants. So we have like the special implant thing that you put. This is all for the ultrasonic. So yeah, I should use an instrument. Let me get an instrument and show you this process. Okay, so here's an instrument. So you would put, and go, we go, we go. Then when it's done, we go over to here and it's dirty. This is all very dirty. Remember that. And then this is when we have our drawer of different size pouches, sterilization pouches. So then we put our dirty instrument into this pouch. You close it. And then we have this little bin over here. And then once the bin gets full, then you load it into the autoclave. Some people might put it straight into the autoclave. Whatever works for you. We're just like, going, 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 so it's barely ever in this bin, but sometimes we have two autoclaves, so, you know, kind of going, going, going. And then when you're done over here, we go in here. So this is where we're going to put the dirty instruments into the autoclave. This is what sterilizes them. Before we do that, I need to unload the clean stuff, because I think these are still um, from back yesterday. Okay. So let me unload the clean stuff first. And this is what I was talking about, like the clean area. So this is our clean area. This is all like very disinfected and clean. So we put all of the clean stuff here, you know, until we sort where it has to go. How I was an assistant, but you know, dentistry is always changing and it's been like a few years since I've been an assistant. So there are some things, I don't know where they go right now. I put all the mirrors, we have like certain drawers that, you know, that's where the mirrors go. Hygiene kits. This is one of the other hygienists. Oh, snap arrays. I never talked about that. I used to only use snap arrays to take x rays. And that's just what I did as an assistant. I bet a lot of assistants do. But then, like, when I went to dental hygiene school and I started using the RIN and the, the rings and everything, I uh, realized that took way better x rays with those. So I don't use this anymore. But some people do. Here's some, you know, filling setups. I know go here. And then the dental hygiene setups go there. Now, what we do is we load the autoclave. That's <laughs> one thing to put in there, so I'm not gonna start it yet. One fun fact is you should never put two on top. Like if I have this, you shouldn't put another one on top. Give them like their own space. Does that make sense? So it's able to, you know, air out. I have a video all about if they should be paper up or paper down. I'll link that video below. And then the only other thing in sterilization is you know, we, we store a lot of stuff in here. It's also like our storage, but it's very nicely in these nice things, right? We have like a million like gloves in here. Everybody's got different sizes. This is like a larger office, so we have like a lot going on there. We have our masks, and like I talked about earlier, we have size two and size three for different things. Uh, over here we have all of our like hygiene stuff. This is like more profi paste, so we can stock our rooms, which that was my first video here. It's how I stock my room. You know, florid varnish, all that stuff. And uh, then over here is our trays. So these are all pre-made trays. These are the hygiene trays. 
a, I'll show you those in a second. And then over here we have like our anesthetic and then we have all like the doctor trays as it says, doctor trays. So they kind of like throughout the day, you know, know like this is all ready for tomorrow. They know what procedure needs, needs what. But back to the hygiene because that's what we're all about in here today. I'll show you kind of the tray. Also, th I didn't even show you all these. There's so many cabinets up in here, right? Like we have them all like uh, labeled, which is nice. Like profi angles, tray covers, filling supplies, crown supplies. We're very organized. There's just a lot. What sure is it? What sure is it? You hear that all day. And let me show you a tray. So we have a headrest cover. I kind of just did a whole like tray set up for you like I already showed you what's on the tray but I'm just showing you how they look in here for us so again in my other office we put they're all every single hygiene setup is the same so we have everyone likes the same probe the probe I like another office so we just have a hygiene setup in a mirror but here we only have a mirror because the assistants like allow us to pick whatever hygiene setup we want depending on the patient because we have slightly different instruments in every setup does that make sense like just slightly different even if it's just like the brand is different I go over here and then pick my instrument from this drawer and then I put the instrument set up on here. But everything else is pre-made and on here. The gauze, the tips, the everything. And then I take this and I go over and sometimes this flies off because that always happens. So you have to remember to put that on your hand. That's kind of it. And the sterilization that I can think of that's like worth talking about. Dirty over there, clean over here. That's why I'm hanging out over here. If you didn't see the first two videos, I will link those below. Thanks for hanging out and seeing what's in my app. Until next time, peace. Well, and you. That's sterilization for you.